With her helper Heidi firmly guiding her along, Elaine DeCharm is making her daily coffee run. Coffee. <laughs> Elaine was born deaf, later became blind, and soon could be losing her job. And deafblind people have grown very accustomed to this service. She's a director of the Deaf Blind Community Access Network, <laughs> a state-funded program that helps the deaf and blind with their daily needs for 16 hours a month. If they shut down the program, it'll be very frustrating for me. I can't go out independently. The state has proposed cutting the $450,000 program entirely out of its 2012 budget. I know. To be honest, if I were in their shoes, well, I, I am in their shoes, and we're all very, very worried. At this point, we're in shock at the very idea of this cut happening. It's what allows me to be independent and get, the, get out there and do my daily business. Ona Stewart has depended on the program for 10 years. Friends and family, I would be lost, I would be so scared. Um, I just wouldn't even feel good about my life because I wouldn't be able to participate in my daily life without that access. She's just one of the 64 people that use their services statewide. And now Elaine wonders what they'll do if the program is cut. My wife is gone for the weekend. I'm on my own and I'm pretty stuck. So I really am lucky to have a provider who I trust um, because it would really scare me. I mean, how would I get milk? The Department of Health and Human Services said in a statement that they're working hard to mitigate the impact of budget constraints on the deaf-blind community. I mean, without this service, we're lost. We're in the dark. While navigating the world with limited hearing and sight, soon some could also be without a guiding hand.